Okay, so another variation of the Mozambique. <clears throat> Again, like I mentioned in previous videos, uh, this Mozambique is in a 2-3 Roomba clave. I'm just going to backtrack real quick in case you guys didn't see the last video or the four clave videos. Here is the 2-3 Roomba clave. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So remember the clave and these rhythms, especially the Mozambique and Cascara, <clears throat> are accompanied. Okay, so but this is in a two three rumba clave. Okay, now the second variation of this mo uh, contemporary Mozambique. Here is a, uh, just a backtrack, here is the Mozambique rhythm. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now, <clears throat> here is the second variation. We have a bass drum. This, by the way, this is the first bar. Okay, it's a two bar phrase. We have a bass drum on beat one and we have a bass drum on beat two, uh, at the end of two, I'm sorry. So bass drum beat one, bass drum on the end, end of two, and then a snare drum on the end of four, okay? That's something that you're gonna see uh, a lot of this is, most of the time the snare drum is on the end of four, okay? So it's a lot of fun. All right, so. <clears throat> All right, so here's the first bar, right? I'm gonna play this slowly. One, two, oh, one, two, three, four. first bar. Then the second bar <clears throat> has a tom-tom on the end of two and a floor tom on beat four, right? So this is the second bar. One, two, one, two, three, four. piece this together, okay? <clears throat> Here's the first bar. One and two and three and four and. Here's the second bar. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and. So when you piece it together once, this is what you get. One, two, three, four. One and two. twice but that's okay it's a good thing that you hear this repeatedly so if I were to repeat that four times really slow this is what it would sound like again it's important for you guys to hear this repetitively so that you can go to your drum set and try it. and I wouldn't mind if you guys picked up your sticks and started playing with me all right here it is one two a one two three four of the Mozambique in a 2-3 rumba clave. So, by the way, in learning any rhythm, uh, or I should say these particular, well, yeah, this is any rhythm, but if you're learning this rhythm, okay, the best way to do this, okay, let's say if you're just learning this, like literally just learning this, the, the way I have my students do this, okay, and it's a piece-by-piece -piece process. <clears throat> Usually, I have them get the Cascara pattern down. Uh, I mean the Mozambique pattern on the right hand. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three four and two and three and four and. A lot of times, I have my 
my students piece things together. So we'll take note for note. In other words, we have a, uh, the whole pattern, right? The whole two bar pattern. We have a bass drum on one uh, and on the end of two. We have a snare drum on the end of four and then a tom on the end of two and then a floor tom on the uh, on beat four. So what I would do is I would have them take note for note and just just plug it in. So in other words, we'd start with the, obviously the first note, which is your bass drum on beat one. So I, I would ha I would have them start with that. One and two and three and four and 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 one. Sorry, I lost where I was for a second there. Then we would add in uh, the end of two with our bass drum. <clears throat> so that would become one, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two three and four and one and two and 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 three and four and right. And then we would add the snare drum in, which is the next note, right? The snare drum on the end of four. So that would become one. second bar place the tom on the end of two so it become one and two and three and four and 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 one two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one right and then obviously the last note which is beat four on the floor tom so the whole pattern will become one and two and three foundation uh, and a great way of learning any rhythm uh, you know if, 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 if you find a particular rhythm complicated this is a surefire way to do it so don't be afraid to do that a lot of my teachers taught me how to do that and hit it even still to this day it works wonders <clears throat> especially in teaching students these difficult uh, Cuban you know Afro-Cuban rhythms and all that you know especially the Latin jazz stuff that's hard so that is the second variation um, of the contemporary Mozambique. So we're going to be getting more into this later. So please comment, ask any questions, and uh, I'll answer them. So see you soon. <laughs>